patients when the bishops were talking about going to visit in the hospital. And the individual that's sick, they call him a patient. Mm -hmm. Now, how did they come up with that term? You ever thought about that? In other words, an individual that is sick, they become dependent upon other people. That's right. So it takes patience, not only for them to endure those other people, but it also takes patience for God to heal them. And that's a true test of faith, because faith without works is dead. He said, by our stripes, we are healed. Yes. And until it happens to you, like the bishop said, you don't know how your faith is going to operate. Mm -hmm. And we talk about right now faith. That's what the word says in Hebrew, right now faith. That means you have to start with this now faith. Don't talk about yesterday, because yesterday it should have been small as a mustard seed. But today it should be the size of a peach seed. That's a large seed. So for something to happen to you now and operate in that supernatural faith, by his stripes you are healed. And receive it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. All heads bowed. Father God, we thank you for bringing us together here today. We are trusting in you right now, Lord. In all of our needs, we are trusting in you. And we're trusting you to forgive us of our sins, Lord. Sins that we have knowledge of and that we don't have knowledge of. Sins that we don't even know we made, Lord. But we ask that you forgive us because we don't want this prayer to go unheard. Right now, we're at 37th Street Baptist Church here in Oakland. In the midst of turmoil. In the midst of war with the young men in our communities. In the midst of prostitution and drugs, Lord. We ask that you would just reach your hand of peace right now and break the yokes right now that are causing problems in our community. Lord, give us the Holy Ghost boldness to step out in faith and to let them know that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is everlasting life. Lord, we thank you. We thank you right now because we know that it's already done. Lord, there's somebody that needs to know you right now, and we ask that you would just bring them this way, Lord. Our church doors are open right here. We ask that you bring them in, crying what they must do to be saved. And we'll pray for them, Lord, and bring them into your beautiful home. Already done, Lord. And then, Lord, we have this ministry right here. You have blessed this ministry to be very well known throughout the world. We thank you for that. We thank you for our staff here that is able to diligently do the will. And we ask, Lord, that you continue to give them the strength to endure. Oh, yes, Lord. And we thank you for it. We thank you for our pastor right now, Lord, who has a vision. And the man of God that you have given that vision, we follow diligently, Lord. And we ask that you open our hearts, open our minds, and give us the insight to pray for him and his family and his wife. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we're claiming help in their family right now. No yes, mental or physical attacks. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Already done. Oh, Lord, we have elders here. Touch their bodies, Lord. Give them faith, Lord, beyond belief that they can continue on this battlefield. Lord, take the weakness out of their body. Take the sickness out of their body. Regulate diabetic conditions. Regulate uh, their uh, heart conditions, Lord. And Decrease the blood pressure, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And then touch those joints that ache, Lord. And give them strength to walk without a cane or without a, any, any assistance, Lord. We claim healing right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we have children here in our church. They need you as they come and go from school, Lord. All oh, the streets are dangerous, and we know that. So we ask that you put your hedge of protection around them, just as you did with Job. And keep them safe from hurt, harm, or danger. And then give them the mind to pray for one of the students that does not know you, Lord. And we ask for 
prayer back in the school. In the name of Jesus, yes, we're Lord. claiming that already done. Lord, we have adults here, and they're going through some things. Oh, yes, yes these are troubling times, yes, but we need you. We need you. We need you financially. Please open up those doors and windows that we have been closed in our face. Yes, People Lord. are losing their homes, Lord. We ask that you intercede in a mighty way and touch them, Lord. Open up their doors of opportunity. Give them the faith to hold on just a little bit longer, because Jesus is always on time. Then, Lord, we have all the financial needs. We have all the needs that have not been spoken. We ask that you would intercede, because some people do not have the ability to tell you what's going on in their lives. We thank you for those that are in the hospital. We pray for them, and then we thank you for those that are out now, Lord, and we, we, we claim the victory in that. We claim the victory in prayer. Yes, we claim the victory in healing. We claim the victory in all that we do in the name of Jesus. And then, Lord, if there is something that I have not brought to you, you know what it is. And I ask that you touch that situation right now. And, Lord, as you walk down these aisles, touch every window, every door. And as you sit on the front pew, Lord, bless this pulpit so that we would always bring your word to you in faith and in sincerity. And we will always give you the praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.